Join us as we take a deeper dive into our Swim Whispers, Adaptive Swim Teachers, creative ideas for getting out of the pool. So here we are at the pool and we're on the topic of exiting the pool. So tell us about Matthew, if he really likes something, what happens? If he really likes something, he does not like to exit the pool uh, or any activity that he's doing. So we usually have to find ways of trying to figure out how to exit. And we give him rewards or we give him something he likes to play. And one of the things he does like to play is hide and seek. So we exit the pool by telling him that he can play hide and seek in the locker. And he likes to go into the locker and close it. We obviously have to time him, but he does get uh, five minutes of playing in the locker room and that's how we exit the pool so miss cindy exits hides and then he <laughs> follows her and that's how he we gets get out, out of the pool. and so <laughs> just be creative and don't give up and whether it's a reward or whether it's an incentive and you really can't get out that's something that we found you can get out i can even just hide behind the shower curtain for a second and he gets a kick out of it and then, and then he forgets about getting out and he just goes and on with his routine out. yeah <laughs> so thanks for sharing Mom. okay Now let's meet Neil. Neil loves the water. He is completely able to walk on land, up and down steps, but he does not want to, you've got it, he does not want to exit the pool. We have tried the music, which is his most favorite thing. We have tried two people behind him, walking him up. Mom has tried many different incentives and nothing works to the point that it takes us almost 20 minutes sometimes to get him out of the pool. So I will show you a tiny little example of how difficult it is to get him out of the pool and then the creative way that we finally found to get him out of the pool. Come on. Oh, All done. We're going to get the music. We're going to get the music. Come on. Let's get the music up and up up and up Ian, are you listening listen to mommy come on stand up come Neil, on. we're going to stand up and we're going to get out and we're all done swimming so this is what's been happening week after week so i have a plan my second plan is to try the lift so we're going to try it we were able to take off the seatbelt and work together. Now the swim instructor and mom will get Neil to stand up together and exit the pool. Join over 350 swim whisperers worldwide and learn a systematic approach to assess, identify, and implement strategies in your very next adaptive swim lesson.